What's up guys, today we're going to be having a look at one of the most polarizing and most unique watches that I've seen in quite some time. This is a Nova Craftsman, this is a Swiss made quartz watch, this is a 50.5 millimeter watch and it's definitely not going to be to everyone's taste. However, when I got contacted by Nova to review this piece on my channel, I thought I wasn't going to like it. I thought it was just going to be your typical fashion watch that maybe looks interesting in pictures but once you actually hold it in your hand it feels cheap and nasty however I have to admit I've been quite surprised by this watch in quite a few different ways so without further ado let's just open up this travel case that the watch comes in which by the way is always a handy touch however it does feel a bit on the cheap side on the inside you get a warranty card which because this is a review unit isn't stamped we also get a polishing cloth a little hang tag with the name and then of course you have the watch itself which as i said the first thing you're going to notice is that it's a huge watch i mean 50.5 millimeters personally i'd say that it's not really wearable for anyone with wrists under seven inches i think seven inches is the absolute minimum that you need to be able to pull this watch off and even then it's just going to be an acquired taste of whether you think this is right for you or not now the first thing you notice besides the size is the use of wood yes that is real wood that's not plastic that is definitely real ebony wood and I have to say it, although the idea of a wooden watch or wood on a watch isn't something that I was particularly fond of before getting this watch I have to say that they've done an excellent job with it this does not feel like a cheap watch it does not feel like a fashion watch this feels like a very nice very well finished well crafted piece of machinery it's 70 different pieces that have been formed to make this watch which by the way is one of the most multi-dimensional air watches that i've seen in a while as well as you can see you have a whole load of different levels different sections mainly obviously because of the use of the wood you also have into integrated straps which have these two screws in the center which by the way for some reason I couldn't find replacement straps or bracelets on the website so they don't have bracelets at least at the time of filming this video they don't have bracelets available for this watch which is a shame definitely a shame but what I can't understand is they don't seem to sell their straps by themselves which makes no sense when you've got integrated straps because obviously if these aren't straps that you can just go and pick up anywhere they have to be at the time of making this video from no but I haven't found anyone else that makes them so yeah that's a bit strange I mean I'm, I'm hoping I'm, I'm expecting them to put them for sale on their website now the first thing you'll notice here is the difference between that brushed finished on the sides of the case and then a polished finish both in that load row that circular load with N in the middle and then obviously with that vessel here you can see that flat sapphire crystal which has a, a, a coating of anti-reflective paint it's not the best I've seen but it's decent and then you see these screws in the vessel which are protruding at first I didn't like that at first I thought that it would have been much better if they would have been flush with the case however they've grown on me and I think it does look a rudimentary it looks like a tool watch it looks it looks like it has to do with arts and craft basically I think that it, it actually does suit the, the design of the watch the fact that they left those screws protruding now you can see that the edge of the bezel is indeed polished and then you have brushed on the top you have a very nice signed clasp with that logo in the center I really really like this clasp I really like this buckle I think it's it's very suiting very fitting with the watch the strap isn't anything particularly special which is a shame because it's an integrated strap so you'd expect it to be really high quality so that you don't have to keep buying more straps from the same company especially seeing as though they don't even seem to sell them individually but it's decent it's decent it's, a, it's an okay strap now I under there's one thing about this watch which is just baffling and it's the back of the watch which you saw in the intro and maybe you've seen in other reviews I mean the back of the watch is just crazy it's just like nothing I've ever seen before it, at the start I had no idea how to use it I had no idea how to adjust the time I had to actually look at the instruction manual because even though it says screw open so obviously you understand that it is something that you have to unscrew you don't actually understand it's not straightforward how to adjust the time so let me show you the first thing you have to do is you have to unscrew this cap which once again this has 
this just doesn't look like a watch at all. I mean, the back of this watch just doesn't look like a watch at all. It looks like a tan opener. It looks like a tool. It looks, it looks really strange. However, I actually really like it. It looks really cool. And once you push the unscrewed, um, whatever you call that, the cap, then you can actually adjust by a minute, the a minute's hand, or if you keep it pushed, you can just keep that minute's hand spinning. Now, obviously, this is something they probably wouldn't have been able to do with an automatic movement, definitely not for this price anyways, which, by the way, the price is at the time of making this video £435. And as you can see, the dial is very basic. You just have the name, a logo, and then some little inner bolts, little circle, metal circles, which I'm not particularly fond of. I think it cheapens the watch. I would have much prefer had they kept it completely simple, just a matte dial with the logo and the name however it, once again it is what it is now I have to say and this is really shocking for me it's actually a comfortable watch to wear I've got seven and a quarter inch wrists as you can see because the case is so rounded at the edges it fits very nicely very tightly on my wrist and it is actually a very comfortable watch mainly because I am used to wearing these kind of big watches one of my favorite watches is the Citizen Grand Turing Sport which you can see here on my right wrist and even though the Citizen Grand Turing Sport, if I'm not mistaken, is 44 mil, because of that oversized Omega Pro Provest a Crown Guard, it does feel like a much bigger watch. And I dare say it actually feels bigger than the Craftsman. So once again, keep that in perspective. Even though 50.5 mil seems absolutely ginormous on paper, I personally don't think it is that big and I personally think that for me it's actually actually quite wearable, quite usable. Now, one thing to keep in mind obviously is that this is just going to be completely to the taste of the person watching. I know that this isn't going to be to everyone's taste. I know that this is going to be quite polarizing. However, however, for what this watch is, I actually really, really like this watch for what it is, which is just a crazy out there design, completely, completely different to, to pretty much anything you'd see, not just in the wood, not just in the dial, not just in the size, but also obviously in that crazy screw crown mechanism at the back. I think that this is just a very special watch to me because the person that I have, I have nothing I could replace this with. I mean, there's nothing that could take the space that this watch currently occupies in my, in my collection, which is just a casual watch. When I want to have fun with a watch, I think this is one of, gonna be one of my go-to pieces for that purpose. And for the price, to be honest, yes, I mean, it is a, a quartz movement, and it is, as I said, very strange watch. But I mean, for the price, you're actually getting a really, really well-built watch, in my opinion, anyways. And it is, once again, a very, very unique, very striking watch. Definitely going to get you a lot of attention. So personally, I could recommend this with no problem. I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Till the next time, peace.